hi everyone welcome to a new vlog um this week i have it off so we're doing lots of socially distanced fun <laughs> uh, so we've just arrived at vista village uh on the monday and we're just gonna see what there is uh it's very very busy for a monday we thought it was going to be a lot less busy but apparently monday is the day to come lots of bargains we hope mm -hmm. we hope it looks like there's a lot of shopping happening so uh yeah we'll take you around with us and uh, see if we find anything good uh also subscribe and like if you enjoy this kind of content <laughs> Just in rituals, and Mum is doing loads of shopping. We're just having a little itsu. I think it's Bob's first time having itsu. Mm. How do you like yeah, it? It's lovely. <laughs> it's quite like it's quite like a health well healthy ish like lunch place. We have a lot of them in London, um, but they do like sushi. But they do these really nice um, teriyaki rice bowls, which they're, they're quite healthy co compared to other like fast food alternatives. Um, and then we have done like so much shopping. Uh, we've got some over there as well. Um, yeah. I'll have to show you guys uh, later what we picked up. So hey guys, um, it's actually probably been a few weeks now since I've had these items and I actually got really, really ill. Um, so this video is up really late. I just wanted to let you guys know that everything I've done in this video, uh, Vista Village and what I'm going to show you was obviously done before lockdown. Um, I just got super, super ill. So... Um, I couldn't film, I couldn't show you guys what I'd bought, so I've been waiting to feel better uh, to be able to like show you what I got and prices and stuff. Um, so here we go. Uh, so first up, I got this absolutely gorgeous scarf from Gucci. Um, it's in there, like I think it's called Spiderweb print, um, and it's in two tone, like baby pink and this kind of like dusty rose pink. Um, this is. Do, 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 do. made in italy very nice um <laughs> it's so hard to find the i think it's silk and wool i'm pretty sure oh yeah here it here it is uh yeah uh 80 percent wool and 20 percent silk um it drapes this scarf drapes absolutely beautifully um and doesn't it look amazing with my nails um, and um yeah it's just it's a really warm scarf but it's not really heavy or anything they have this in loads and loads of colors i do know bista village are doing kind of like um online consultant kind of online shopping where you get a consultant i think they like zoom call you from the shop i think so if you are interested um this was 140 pounds and i think the rrp was 260 um and this was actually a little gift from my mummy uh so thank you so much mum um it's an absolutely beautiful scarf and i think it's a piece that i'm literally gonna have uh for years and it's huge it's absolutely huge um yeah, I love it. Then next, Dior. Um, I'm absolutely chuffed with this purse and chuffed just getting into the Dior shop. Um, it's a very small shop and with the digital cues and stuff, um, yeah, it was a very popular store uh, to try and get into. So I did see a bag that was in this style and I think it was a thousand pound from one and a half but it was kind of more than I was planning on spending, to be honest. Um, but then I saw this purse and actually I was looking at this purse last time I went to Paris. 
uh, last Christmas. Um, and I ended up buying um, a YSL bag instead. Um, but they had this gorgeous purse. And I just love this kind of... Ooh, uh, trying to open stuff with one hand. Very good button. Um, I just love this print. I just think it's so like classic and beautiful um i love the colors as well like the navy blue and the green the flamingos it's absolutely stunning um and then inside it's just like uh, a matte black leather and there's a little coin purse as well because uh, basically i bought that gucci wallet um in paris and it's just too big <laughs> it doesn't even fit in some of my um handbag so i'm gonna use that more like a clutch um, and i love this little chain that says dior little charm um and this is just the perfect size for me um like i don't really use cash or coins too much but i all often end up getting some change from somewhere so it's just nice to have something that's just big enough for for everything really so yeah that's my little piece of dior and um, so this was 550 55 originally and i got it for 345 so like 30 percent off um which for dior i think is pretty good and then the final um designer item i got i did pick up some other bits but i'm just going to show you these because the others like more like presents and um, so i got something from burberry and they've just recently um done up their burberry store in bista village and we went in there first and I didn't see the scarf, so I wanted one of these scarves in this style for so long. But they only had one in this like kind of like evergreen green colour and it was quite masculine and I wasn't really a hundred percent on it and I didn't love it. And literally as we were leaving uh Vista Village, I saw this in the window and uh, the queue was enormous at this point, the digital queue. Bless my mum, she like waited for over an hour with me so I could get this scarf because it was such an amazing price as well we asked the woman on the door to tell us how much it was so we could work out if we wanted to cure or not and when she said the price I was like oh no mum I want to I want to get it um so it was 420 and it was reduced to 209 what an absolute steal this is 100% cashmere this one is really thick um, I don't know if you can tell there. Like, it's it's completely different from the Gucci scarf. The Gucci scarf is very light, whereas this is, like, thick. And it just says Burberry. Um, just the whole scarf. And I just love the colour. I love that it's got the classic, like, Burberry beige. And then this, like, pop of baby blue. I just thought it was really, really different, but still, like, neutral. I absolutely adore this scarf. Um, so, yeah, that's just my little pics from Bista Village they had so much there and as I said they're doing this like online um like service um I know Dior you have to do a minimum spend of 500 pounds um I don't think Gucci or Burberry have a minimum spend so yeah it could be great to get yourself a little treat for Christmas or some some gifts for other people they had really great prices um, around 30%, 50% off in the designer stores. So, yeah, super pleased. Let me know what you think of my items. Hey, guys. So, um, I'm going to be making a sausage tortellini soup this evening, which is one of my favourite soups to make. But it does yield quite a big amount, so I only do it for my family, not just me. Um, so, I'll leave the recipe down below it's just off some sort of food bloggers i don't know her name food bloggers website um but yeah i'm gonna try and bring you along as i make it obviously i've never done this before so sorry if i miss anything but yeah uh, so managed to find some actual italian sausage um normally i've used the chick chicken italian sausages um, because I find it really hard to find Italian sausage in the UK. It's much easier to pick up in the States. Uh, so if you are UK based and you can't find this, really recommend the chick Italian sausages. Um, they're really tasty. And um, so I'm now just going to make these into little mini meatballs uh, for the soup. Uh, so here are my little uh, my little sausage meatballs. And I've just got um, a La Cruze, like cast iron like casserole dish. And I'm just going to fry these off in here. Ooh, the sizzle. So I've taken out these little sausages now. They're all cooked and like golden brown. And we've got all this like pork 
fat yumminess um, left in the pan. So I just picked up the uh, sofrito mix from M&S. Just means you don't have to like cut all this stuff up. Um, it's got onion, carrot and celery in, which is I think what the recipe calls for anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna fry that and like soften it up in the yummy pork fat. <laughs> So I've just added some garlic as well now. And as you can see, um, all that veg is kind of like really um, cooked down and the garlic's smelling really, really good and yummy. Um, yeah, looking forward to this dinner. Uh, so now I'm just gonna add a little bit of flour uh, to start making whoop, a roux. So I think this will probably be enough uh, for what we're trying to achieve. So you just wanna kind of mix all that flour in and that's going to get all like the liquid um uh ingested what i'm trying to say it's going to just kind of like soak up all the liquid that's what i'm trying to say and um this is going to help like thicken the soup um so we'll put the stock in in a minute um, i'm probably not going to film when i add the stock because i just need to keep whisking um but imagine me pouring stock in um and stirring i uh, also just need to cook the flour off a little bit as well um so it's not like lumpy um or tastes like flour so yeah i'm gonna do that now uh, so it should look a little bit like this um so yeah just gonna let this simmer for a little bit um, and then we'll just be adding like the final bits like the pasta, the uh, the meatballs and the spinach and the cream. Um, I might not have mentioned this already, but this is definitely not a diet friendly <laughs> recipe. Uh, but I think you could definitely make it um, a bit more diet if you use like the chicken sausages and maybe just not add the cream. Uh, but yeah, smells really good. So add in your little cooked meatballs also this is when we add some extra seasoning so we've got a bit of pepper oh i don't want like a lot of pepper in this family <laughs> keep going hopefully the lid doesn't fall off that'd be a disaster i don't want that much pepper um, and just a little bit of salt but not too much obviously because you've got the stock in there and then see what else we fancy um probably a bit of a bit of oregano and a bit of basil i'm gonna add that now and now i'm gonna add the cream oh my gosh yummy um i don't think the soup needs the cream though if you're counting your calories <laughs> and then you could probably omit that but we really like a little bit of cream in this family. Uh, so now I'm just gonna add the tortellini. I've gone for spinach and ricotta, but you can literally go for any flavoring you like. Um, so yeah, and oh my God, guys, it smells incredible. So, ah. oh, I'm so I'm so scared. I'm just gonna add this off camera because I get nervous. I'm gonna splash everything everywhere. Finally, guys, I'm just gonna add this bag of baby or young spinach um, fresh straight on top and then I'm gonna pop this lid on. Um, so obviously as you'll probably know, ooh, lost leaf, um, it, spinach goes on absolutely massive. That's why I'm putting the whole bag in. Um, but when you wilt it down, it literally just like shrinks. So yeah, and that's it literally. Um, gonna put that on for about two minutes just to let it all wilt and like get all juicy and then we're ready to serve. So here is the final um, dish, Mum. Mum, Wendy, come here. What, how do you think it looks? Wow, that looks really tasty. It's got lots of stuff in it. Ooh, it's got lots of nice. flavours and veggies and Ooh. textures. I'm liking that. Yeah, the dishes are in the oven. And, uh, the serving plates are in the oven waiting. Plates. I hope they're bowls. Well, they're bowls. They're bowls. Bowl they're plates. bowls, right? And they're ready to be served. Mm. Yummy, 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 yummy. I'm really hungry. Not very often. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> 
Um, so I don't know where we um, have started from, uh, but we're now off to a sunny fields farm and we need a pumpkin patch. Uh, you have to book online, um, which is kind of annoying because we booked and we think it's just started raining. So I think there is like a covered area though. So yeah, just bringing you along for the for the pumpkin pumpkin vibes. <laughs> This is crazy. They've made a pumpkin with a mask on. It's So that was the pumpkin, what do they call it, like the pumpkin festival or something. Yeah, um, yeah if you live in the like Hampshire, Southampton region, they do it every year. This year was definitely the best year. They'd put like so much effort into like all the little um, displays and stuff. Um, it was really good. It was literally two pound to enter. You don't have to buy a pumpkin if you don't want to. <laughs> Got to book online. Yeah, you do have to book online, and probably by the time this is up, I think it will be over. But just so you know, for next year, um, hopefully they uh, continue doing it. But yeah, it was really fun, and I really enjoyed it. What do you think, Mum? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs>